Ah, cold. Yes. Good morning. It is super cold out here. Like, super cold. I think it's like 18 degrees, 15 degrees. I have no idea. Um, I just felt like I need to vent. And this is the best way I know how to vent instead of me, um, like saying, like my issues and my problems to my children. <laughs> so I was like, you know what? I got like five minutes before I just dropped my older child off at school. So I was like, let me vent because right now it's not like, um, I'm just having some like issue, not, yeah, you could call it issues. Like, I moved out here by myself, three kids, um, last November. I moved from the city, upstate. So, you know, it's been a struggle, but, you know, I've always, like, made it by, like, I've always figured out how to make it work, and right now it's just like with the pandemic and everything it's just starting to like come down you know and i'm at this point where it's like what do i pay now do i pay like my rent or do i pay for my cable um rent always wins i don't give a shit me paying rent always wins because I rather make sure my kids have a roof over their head um, than not have a roof over their head. Like, it's cold. I got snow. It snowed, right? Me and my children is not going to be on the street, so that's not going to happen. But now, it's like, this causes a problem because... I have to my children do remote learning like my daughter does remote learning for three days and she's in school t t two days my son my both my boys they go to school four days but then Wednesdays you know they have remote learning so it's like and now since the city decides that they're shutting down schools it's like well are we next up here like is that what's gonna happen? And it's like, <sighs> my cable about to get shut off next week. It's dead ass about to get shut off. And I've paid it and paid it and paid it to a point where I'm stuck because it's like, do I pay rent or do I pay this bill? Because my kids need it. But my kids also need to have a roof over their head it, it's just one of those things where it's like what now what's gonna happen now um it's like it's one of those things where you feel like yo you failed as a mom and it's like if you ask for help then it's like oh here she is single black mom can't get no help you know but then again it's like yeah say what you want everybody's situation is different not everybody's situation is the same and I have to suck it up and I have to like be like okay I need help with this and it's like I honestly do not want to ask my family for help because one is not you know, it's not their job. It, it, it's my job. It's my responsibility. It's my responsibility to be like, hey, um, I'm the mom. Like, it, I have to do this. I have to take care of them. It's my job. And it's been lately 
I've been feeling like this for a while. <laughs> I've been feeling like, <sighs> can I make it? Um, am I gonna have to be like, I need outside help? Um, and like my kids this morning was talking about Christmas and what? I don't even wanna, if I can just delay Christmas just a little bit longer, I would be happy. But that's not how life works. And it's just one of those things where I feel like, you know, I would go without everything to make sure my kids have. But it's just come to, like, where you do feel like, what's next? Like, what else can happen? Um, to the point where I'm just like, fuck it. But I understand I cannot have that mentality. I can't have that feeling. I can't have that emotion. My youngest child is, he is autistic. He will notice. And I don't want to make him sad. I don't want basically I just don't want to fail them um if I get them one thing like one child one thing I know they'll be happy because they just you know Christmas with them is not about gifts and I made sure that what my mom instilled in me I instilled in them because it's about family it's about celebrating the Lord and hopefully, you know, it's instilled in them to know that it's not about gifts. It's about family. And, yo, these trucks out here be rude. Ooh, it's bright. I'm walking home. <laughs> oh, sunlight. But I've prayed about it. <laughs> I've also shed some cheer tears about it. Because it's like they're making Christmas lists and it's like I can't even keep cable on. Um keep the roof of real head. I can make sure the water's on. I can make sure the heat's on. Um, the light's on. It's just one of those things where you're just like, you don't want to see what's the next thing that's gonna happen. Scary. I've never been in this situation or this problem. I've, I've never had to do this. And it's like, I budget. I budget for what goes where, what goes here. And it's like, at this present time, I don't got it. I got to pay for my son's stuff for school. Like, that's just something that falls in the wayside, even though it shouldn't. But it is. So, I don't know. And now I have to go in the house and get my wake up. Well, wake up one child. Wake up my daughter. I gotta go in the house, get my son dressed, wake up my daughter, and 
have like a happy-go-lucky spirit in front of my mama. So it's like I'll be wearing a mask all day today. Like, obviously I gotta wear a face mask. I mean this emotional mask of not feeling like a failure or a bad mom. And it sucks to like feel like that. You know. It sucks to feel like that. It sucks to Like, I accomplished moving here on my own um, as many times as, like, there was, like, no, don't move or stay in the city like you want to stay in Queens. you rather we struggle. Like. One bedroom apart, one bedroom with eight people, and me and my kids, my mama, my brothers, and my sister. Um, one. So those four of us in one bedroom, and I prayed on it, and I moved on my own. I moved with him telling me like, nope. Move. I'm not gonna move. Like, I'm extremely stubborn. I'm stubborn to a fault. I'm stubborn to the point where I will do something just to prove that I can do it. And that's what I did. I moved and I made sure that my kids have their own space. My kids are happy. This is a better environment. <laughs> For my son, he gets the help that he needs, and my kids aren't struggling in school. Like, the past two days for, like, their parent-teacher conference, they've been doing good. They've been doing great, and I'm proud of them, because in the city, it wasn't doing them any justice, and, um, they've come so far, like, so, so, so far, and I'm thankful and I'm happy that, you know, my kids are getting the help that they need. Um, my son is in the school, he's in middle school where he's supposed to be. In the city, they kept him left, leaving him back and saying there's something wrong with him. He comes up here, they test him. They don't see that. And they bumped him and he graduated. So now he's in middle school. My daughter's on that track. She just needs a little bit of help. And. My nine-year-old is there. Nothing but great things to say about him. So I'm happy I made this move. <laughs> this too shall pass. I will get over it. Like um, I just need to vent because <sighs> I just need to get it out. so much that you can deal every disappointment is a blessing and I think that right now God is showing me like <sighs> you can get through this like it will make you stronger and I came from the projects I from the hood hood and I live in a suburb, somewhat. So, um, and my mom is always saying, "Have faith and um, and have faith and pray on it." So 
I think that's just what I'm gonna do because I just needed to vent. Um, I feel a little bit better. Um, so thank you for coming to my rant. I'm trying to take off my gloves. Sorry. Thank you for coming to my rant about my life. Have a wonderful and blessed Thursday. It's like mad early in the morning. It's like 7.30. So. Many blessings.